hi <laughs> I have not been on here in so long wow it is good to see the camera again <laughs> it's so weird putting this camera on though at the same time um where did where did we even leave off I am so sorry <laughs> I have not been around in like so long. I miss you guys. Well, I miss doing this because for the people that actually watch my channel, majority of you are actually on my Instagram and social media. So you guys know what's going on. I'm not, I usually post more on my, on my Instagram than I do on here, obviously, because I haven't been on here in over a year. But I definitely miss recording and editing somewhat. It's just been hard. Everything, life got in the way. It's been really hard, but I'm getting myself together. It's 2022. Wow, it's 2022. The last time I recorded a video was in 2020. It's been almost two years now. Go check out my other videos and come back and then we can talk and catch up a little bit, okay? It's sort of a Faith 2.0-ish. Faith 1.0 because she wasn't coming. She wasn't doing her thing like I'm doing my thing now. Um, Funny thing. This is the same shirt that I wore in my first video. We came full circle, babes. I got my natural hair going. I'm glowing and I'm growing, okay, girl? We're gonna get right on into it. I am Faith Anderson. For those of you that don't know, if this is your first time ever seeing me, this is just gonna be a simple life update, checking in with y'all, explaining where I've been and what I've been doing, why I left, why I stopped, all that kind of stuff. Let's actually go back to the last video that I recorded and see where what date that was actually when I uploaded it August 26th of 2020 oh this was coming around my freshman year of college you guys that's crazy so I am actually I'm in my spring semester of my sophomore year come next September I'm gonna be a whole junior and doing clinicals and stuff like that and I my goal was supposed to be to be recording weekly vlogs for you guys like as a nursing student but girl the first year we were all online majority of it but this year I could not have recorded at least my my fall semester um, of my sophomore year I could not have recorded that because oh my gosh none of those nursing videos prepared me for what for the hell that I went through because girl I was crying almost every single week having assignments due that I didn't even know about I had a oral a oral um, surgery because I had to get my wisdom teeth taken out that took me out for a good week out of school it was a mess it was a mess but let me not get ahead of myself let's actually talk about freshman year everything was online I was at home I was really upset about it because I felt like I, will, I missed out on an experience. I missed out on, you know, getting to actually meet people and make new friends. It did make it harder for me to get to know people, um, at least this year, because, you know, you're supposed to, like, meet your roommate, you're supposed to go to clubs, you're supposed to, you know, go to different parties and, like, different gatherings and things to meet new people. I did not have that experience. I was taking... A lot of classes a lot of classes I took um, intro to chemistry I took statistics I took um, literature I took a history class and this was all in one semester this is my fall semester so I took all of those classes at one time biggest mistake of my life our advisors literally just tell us the courses that we're supposed to take they just gave me the information and when I was trying to ask her like you know does it make sense to do all these courses now like is it gonna be too much is it gonna be but again it depends on the kind of person you are if you're a person that works well with like getting all your stuff done and just you know doing everything at once and by all means go ahead and do that but for me that first semester being that I'm a freshman and I don't know anything about college I've never dealt with college I don't know what the workload is supposed to look like that freshman year was hell for sure and and I had all 8:30 a.m. classes every single day No, I'm still sad. It didn't work. Every single day. Who wants to do that? Half of the time I pulled up, didn't even turn my camera on because, listen, I didn't even have time to get out of my bed. Most of the time I would probably wake up at like 8.25, put on a hoodie, roll over, pop the computer on, and go right back to sleep while the lecture is going. Who wants to be up at 8.30 in the morning? 
but there was this one class I think it was my literature class and she was just uh, she was just just a lot for an 8 30 a.m. class and I wish my advisor would have advised me I wish my advisor would have advised me not to take an 8 30 a.m. class every single day but you know it's okay so in terms of my grades freshman year I did pretty well I did pretty well I did well in statistics but I did not expect to be crying all the time the amount of stress from not understanding and then having a teacher that doesn't necessarily want to teach you having a teacher that wants to just give you the book and make you teach yourself in statistics it's really hard chemistry however de I definitely struggled in chemistry for sure for sure but I'm very thankful that I had a group of uh, people that were willing to help me my cousin actually helped me Monet shout out to you it was a lot it was so not something that I would want to repeat but I'm glad it's done I'm glad it's over I'm glad I don't have to retake another class like that um, but for those of you that are let's say a freshman going into college or even a sophomore that is has to take intro to chemistry make sure if you're on campus have a study group I definitely recommend having a study group and if you can use those teachers office hours as much as you can I know at least for me now or in my my sophomore fall semester in anatomy girl Half of the things that she talked about, yes, was in the book, but most of it was from her lecture. So definitely use teacher's office hours. They're there to help you. And if there is a tutoring session or a tutoring that is at your school that you can go to, um, at least for my school, they if you go to a tutoring session, you actually get points back for your final grade in the class that you're going to the tutoring session for, depending on the teacher. But if that is offered at your school, use it to your advantage. It's only there to help you. Um, and don't wait till the last minute to study for anything. Once you get material, you should be going over that like as soon as you get it, honestly. And try to get all the homework done like early so that you have more time to study and more time to do other things that you need to get done. Okay, next summer going from freshman year to sophomore. I would say that that year was really fun. I took a trip down to Greenville. For those of you that don't know, majority of my family is on the south side of the US. I had time to spend with my family down there. That was really fun. We toured the place. Um, we got to see a lot of houses. My dad planned a bunch of um, house tours that we could go see. What else did we do over the summer? We came back and I think we went somewhere else. I'm not sure, but I did a lot. I got another dog because you guys only know about Leo. But I got another dog and his name is Chai. I'll insert a picture in here somewhere um, just so that you guys can see him. He's so cute, he was so tiny. Um, so we named him Chai. He is actually a Havanese Lhasa Apso mix. Um, and this is like another picture of him. Again, I'll just insert it here. Um, but he is so cute, he is so cute. I think he's going to be two in you know, in September. I still have Zelly over there, he's thriving. He is thriving. He's gonna be two soon as well. A lot of people thought I was not gonna, he wasn't gonna make the first two months, but baby, he made it past the year, so talk your talk, because I'm a good mother to my fishies, I'm a good mother to my dogs. All my children are thriving and they are well. Okay, thank you. Another thing that I, I'm extremely proud of that I haven't shared with my YouTube family. I created my own business. I created my own business, you guys. You can tell by some of the videos that I posted on here before, I love to cook. I love to make different things. I when I get in the kitchen, girl, I throw down, okay? My breakfast is not no regular breakfast. Like this morning, I had avocado toast with egg and pesto, and then I had um, fruit with granola, and honey and then I made myself a chai latte okay girl I do not be skimping on my bre breakfast I don't be skimping on any meal really I be eating good okay I wanted to make something that allowed me to feed that creative side of myself when it comes to food so I made my own business and it's called ladybug sweets it's a home bakery for those of you that would like to check it out you can go down in the description box and I'm gonna leave my link to my website and leave all of my um, information for my social media 
and stuff like that so like Instagram usually I really only use Instagram so I'm gonna leave my Instagram down there and my website link so you guys can go check it out but I'm extremely proud of myself because when I tell you I was hustling I was hustling I am still hustling because I wanted something that I could you know use it to grow and allow it to fund my pockets to be frank to fund my pockets so that I could pay back school loans and things like that I'm extremely proud I'm thankful to my mom because she was also inspirate inspiration and collaborated with me on a lot of the desserts that I uploaded so go show some love to ladybug sweets if you haven't already stuff that's on there is really good stuff my favorite I would have to say I'll, I'll say my favorite from each category so my favorite cupcake has to be Coco Loco. That is my favorite cupcake. Um, my favorite cookie is the red velvet whoopie pie. That, yo, that is my like kryptonite at this point. My red velvet cake and that pumpkin cake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wow. Y'all. Y'all are missing out if you haven't tried it yet. Go and head on down to ladybugsweets.com and get yourself a treat because <laughs> I don't even have to tell y'all. I'm sorry. Like, it's really good. I think this is the first time that you guys have ever seen me with my natural hair. All of this baby is natural. Let's just give you, like, the definition. Come on, boo. Come on, boo. 4C what? Oh, yeah. Come on now. Don't play with me. Don't play with me because the definition is there. The definition is there. Don't play. Don't play. My fall semester in college was interesting. Very interesting. A lot of stuff has happened from September 2021 to now. I ended up taking three classes. My anatomy lab and lecture and then another um history of fashion class that was just a general educational class. My fall semester of my sophomore year was definitely trying. Anatomy is no joke. It is not a joke. It is not a time to play games. It's time to buckle down and get serious. I am extremely grateful and thankful to God for keeping me sane and allowing me to see that I'm capable of doing a lot. I honestly thought that for both my lab and lecture in anatomy, I would go come out with a C plus. I got an A minus in my lab, which I'm extremely proud of. I got a B B minus or a B plus, one of those two, in my lecture, and I'm extremely proud because it's a lot of information. I remember there was a test that I was freaking out about. For those of you that have me on Instagram, y'all know. It was a muscles test and we had to know uh, all the muscles. I think it's like 206 muscles or something like that. We had to know each muscle. We had to know the insertion points on the bones and then we had to know the origin points on the bones. For each muscle, we had to know what it did and we had to know that for each and every muscle. All the rotator cuffs, the your, your, your trapezius, your vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius. There's just so many things. Your biceps, triceps, your latissimus dorsi, rectus abdominis, a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm thankful that I have a group of girls that are so supportive and so honest and willing to help one another out. We all uplift each other. We all, I make sure that we say a prayer before any exam that we do. But this year definitely showed me that I'm capable. I'm a smart person. Going into this, it definitely shakes your confidence because nursing school is very competitive and it's like you're fighting for a spot amongst a whole bunch of other people and if you don't do it then it makes it seem like you're not good enough. But I am extremely grateful to God that I was able to pull through and get to where I need to be. I am on track. I still have my spot in the nursing program because what the school that I go to at least, if you get a grade for more than one class as a lower than a C plus, you are kicked out of the nursing program. You, you no longer have a spot for clinicals. And I have yet to get a strike. And I'm extremely thankful to God because there have been so many times where I doubted myself and I doubted his power in my life. I'm excited for this semester. I know it's gonna be hard. I, I'm taking microbiology this year. I am excited to finish the semester with 
the best of grades and then go into clinicals do you guys what should you guys expect coming from me this year the reason why I stopped doing videos last year is because it felt more like an obligation than it was me having fun I want to be on here and actually give you guys content that I want to you know put out you can expect that from me I'm thinking of doing a vlog um, of my first week back at school for the spring semester so you guys can see um, just me and my friends and how we study and just prepare for class and things like that so um, I'm looking forward to that I know you guys are gonna want to see how I study for my exams so I'll try and do that for you guys I'll try and bring you along with our study sessions and things and see how everything goes but for now I will see you in my next video. You can go and follow me on Instagram at Faith Andersona, Faith Anderson with an A at the end. Leave a comment and a like. I don't remember how to do this, you guys. It's like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me just show you my fit. Hold on. Hold on. I've never really done this before. You know, some light or whatever something light or whatever don't play if y'all don't start wearing your masks I will not hesitate to bring the Lysol spray and the bleach and spray y'all down and I'm just giving y'all like a whole room tour but I'll see y'all later Cue the music. Da 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 da